Hi, in this video, we have a digital watchdog BMAX A1 Plus. It's a up to 5 megapixel uh, DVR. So we're going to run through quickly how to review the footage on this. So you can right click your screen. Uh, this one basically has a blank password. We're just going to say OK. We're going to come down here and right click the screen any place. If you right click it over here, it's going to come up over here, right click it over here. So your display mode, you click on there and this is a four, four channel. So you have a single screen or a four screen. Uh, so you can see you have four screens here. You come down, you have a quick search, you click on your click, quick search. And you have 10 seconds to go to five minutes ago. So if you're actually sitting in front of it when something happens and you wanted to see uh, what went on just a couple of minutes ago, you can do that. Otherwise, you go down here to search and you say, OK, we have a bunch of different options. You have calendar, date and time, first data, last data. Uh, if your uh, system logs are set up or your event logs uh, are set up, if you have a device to trigger that. Um, like somebody opens a door uh, would be uh, an event log or a motion would be an event log, uh, so forth. And if you had actually bookmark something when you were viewing it, you can go back and see what you actually bookmark. So let's go to calendar. So you get the calendar view. You have your month, you have your year, you have the calendar itself, you have the channels here. So what you're seeing is the asterisk next to a date will actually have recordings on those days. So let's go here to the 24th of of March. And we're going to say uh, right around noon. We want to see something around noon. So we're going to click on here. We're going to say OK. So it's retrieving the data. And what you're seeing here is there was motion at this time. So you have this recorder. Now this recorder is coming up because there's motion someplace in that picture. So Here's somebody walking, here's a car coming. So you're seeing the motion that it's picking up. Now, like right here, it says no recorded data. So there's no data on there. It's just showing the last image. You're seeing the car coming around the corner and going back down here. So when we look down here on the bottom of this bar, this is our timeline. So you can see it's basically been recording 24 seven on one of the cameras here. You have your forward a step and then you have your fast forward. So when you're using your fast forward, you're going to click on it once and you'll see it goes to two times. Click on it twice, it goes to four times. Keep clicking on it, you got eight, 16, 32 times. So 32 times will give you uh, a good look at what you're trying to see to determine where you want to find your, your data at. If you've got a large time in between uh, where you might think something happened between, say, 12 noon and... 12 p.m. You can go through this rather quickly. As you can see, it's it's jumping through the the times here. And then once you get it, you can actually stop and go back. You can actually drag and drop this. You drag and drop this over here. This this bar here to wherever you want. Just go to the green and double click on it. And it'll take you to that time. Or you can use your fast forward. Now you want to, you have something here, let's say, I want to see something that's going on here in between a certain time. I'm going to go down here to say quick export. So I double click on that and it's coming up here and I want to select the camera. Since I only have two cameras here, I want to get all the data for that. So something just happened, let's say, and I want to come here and I want to get, oh, 10 minutes before that time. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, OK. Usually if something happens, if it's not a long, drawn out event, you're only going to need a couple of minutes of it. So I'm going to say, OK. So you see the top one changed. This is the time it is now. I'm going to go in here and I want a couple more minutes of the, of the bottom one. I'm going to say, OK. Now you need a device. Uh, it's a USB thumb drive. Since the mouse will be using one of the two USBs, you have to plug it into the other, whether it's in the front or the back. Uh, depends on how the DVR is set up. So 
you plug it in. If it doesn't see it, you scan it. It'll find a device. It'll drop the files in that device. Uh, it says file size. I have no idea what the file size is. So let's make an estimate here. So it says it's 177.3 megabytes. So if this was a half an hour or something, uh, there's a chance it would be uh, probably five, six times bigger than that. Um, sometimes people are trying to take hours at a time for more than one camera. And what will happen is it will be exceed the size of the USB drive. So you just have to break the file up. It's much easier to do it this way to, to, to know your file size than it is to spend the time trying to download it to the thumb drive and then realize your thumb drive is too small. Um, you can actually put a password in here for the file so that only people can view it. And you see a add viewer here, just leave that checked. So you're going to say start and it's going to say no devices available because of course there's no USB device in here or a hard drive attached to it just to download that information. Um, so once you get that downloaded on your thumb drive, you can take it, put it in your computer. You have to install the viewer, which is an executable file on the thumb drive, and then you'll be able to view uh, the data on the thumb drive. Um, so if you wanted to get out of this uh, window right now and go back to live, you're just going to push this. It says exit playback mode. So anything you really click on here, it's going to tell you what it does. Quad mode, so that's what it is now. If I go to quad mode, it goes to single mode and so forth. Back and forth. This is the speed of your fast forward or your fast reverse. This is your date. You want to change the date. This is your camera number that is showing. Um, so it says no recorded data. So this is basically a quick glimpse of how you get this uh, and review the data and download the footage onto a thumb drive. Thank you.